We are here with Terrence Riley, one of the most cultured men in the cigar industry, and Aganor Salif. How's it going, Terrence? Oh, just living the dream, living the dream. Now, better now that you're here. I say that so dead-eyed and dead, you know, deadpanned. I like to, I like to do that. I like to stare in the eyes and you know, see what happens. So look at the camera and show how. Like, no soul in there right now. Yeah, yeah dead, dead eyes. <laughs> like a shark's eyes, like a doll's eyes, lifeless eyes. <laughs> you know what's not dead though? This packaging. You have done some amazing things with the packaging at Aganorsa. Tell us a little bit about it. That was a lovely segue, by the way. Right? Yeah, it was great. Uh, I've done this before. Yeah, you know, the, one of the things that COVID taught us really, uh, and, and retailer surveys, listening to our retail partners, was that the guys in, during COVID would call their store and say, hey, I need a box that cigar I always smoke. And they'd be like, well, which one? Oh, it's on the back wall. What's the name of it? I don't know. It's called Casa something, or it's got an F in it, or, or what? And then, uh, you know, they, it'd be red bands or blue bands. You know, they couldn't tell you what it was called, and they smoked it every day. Yes. So you really need to, and those are cigars that people were familiar with. <laughs> and so how do you capture somebody's attention? The best cigar you've never heard of is one you don't smoke or, or don't remember you don't smoke again. So the packaging became really crucial in making sure people understand, one, this is Aganorsa. And two, Aganorsa stands for one of the largest growers of tobacco in Nicaragua. We have a signature flavor. And then hopefully develop passion for the product, which is ultimately the end goal. So that's what's kind of driven all these changes. I mean, it, it definitely stands out on the shelf a lot more. It looks way better. You've done an amazing job of that. Thank you. I, I like the cut of your jib. He likes a little ass kissing. So, uh, but you also have, you are launching some new sizes of your already insanely large cigar. What do you got? Yeah, so we got a uh, we got a, a 770 JFR Lunatic. Can we grab one right now? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. And this is the six and a half by sixty. We actually make cigars larger than this. We have an 880, which is even bigger. I can show you in a minute. These are the smaller ones. Yeah, these are the you know the small size. Uh, and it's just one of these things. It's 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 this is retailer demand. I mean, we sell a heck of a lot of these things. I mean, look, watch. I'll, let me get the other one. This, you won't even believe the size of this thing. It is properly named the Lunatic. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Aganorsa is a well-endowed company, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and it's just when I joined the company, people were like, why do you make that? Well, and I, I didn't know either, and then I looked, and they sell. There's a, there's a market for it. And we try to make the blends as flavorful and enjoyable uh, as humanly possible. Some of our best blends in terms of flavor, I think, come in a big ring gauge. Not personally my size, if I'm being honest, but it's uh, there's there's a huge market for it, and we and we really have uh, helped kind of corner it with only a, one or two other companies. So that's been driven by, uh, like I said, listening to our retailers. You know, I've, I've seen some other companies kind of like follow that route. Like Perdomo now has the Immenso. They're kind of chasing what you guys have started over here. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, you know, it's a it's a it's a big market, and uh, you know, again, we just worry about ourselves and. You know, if ever, I'm sure other people will join in, but we've been doing it a while, and we're very, you know, happy with, uh, you know, with the portion of the market that we have. Well, uh, I have one more question for you, and I've prepped everyone for this question but you, so you're welcome for this. There's a looming recession, all the experts say, so we're trying to tell people what everyone's best bang for their buck cigar is, their best valued cigar. What would you say Aganorsa's best valued cigar is? Yeah, our, our JFR. JFR is just, uh, it's, it's, it was conceived over almost 20 years ago now, uh, and it was intended to be a $12, $15 cigar for six to $8, you know? And so we, 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 we package it in 50 count cabinets, so we cut down on the cost of packaging. The packaging is fairly simple, but it's got pigtails, tuck foot, and now we've got a nice sampler pack. Let me show you. Look at this, look at this. And so it's four cigars of our JFR Super Toro, six and a half by 52, pigtail, tuck foot, Connecticut, Corojo, and Maduro. And uh, MSRP is only $25. So four cigars for 25 bucks. Nothing to shake a stick at. No. Unless it's a lunatic. Yeah, well, yeah. In that case, <laughs> it's fine. Aganorsa Leaf. Great Leaf. Really big cigars. Do the flex. Do the flex. <laughs> Thank you, Terrence. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs> that was our best interview yet. Oh, of course. <laughs>